All right, so this Apple Vision Pro is the talk of the town. A lot of people are confused by it. A lot of people are excited about it. I don't know where I stand. Honestly, I have questions about this product and what Apple's trying to do with this product. Obviously it's not out and we don't have answers quite yet. So I'm really excited to see what those people at WWDC who are there, who are going to be able to have hands-on with the Vision Pro, what they think about it because they will be the first people outside of Apple probably who will get to see and interact with this. But let me tell you, I'm very confused by it. I have at least three, maybe four, maybe five questions about this Apple Vision Pro AR goggles device, whatever it is, there's a lot of questions. So let's just get into it and let's talk tech. I'm Asian with Arden Lee Tech. We believe tech was made to make your lives easier and we're here to help you discover and understand new tech that improves your life. These Vision Pro goggles, I have no idea what they're supposed to do for our lives. And honestly, that's my first question. Who are these really for? With a price point of $3,500, is it the same people who have AirPod Maxes? Or is it the same people who have Mac Pros? I feel like this group of people that they're trying to market to is a lot smaller than I think they're trying to go for. From the presentation and the videos and the ads that they did, it's like they're trying to sell it to be an everyday device that everybody will have in the future, just normal dads and normal families and normal moms and normal, normal young people with jobs. And that's where I'm like confused. Is it really for those kind of people? I mean, who's shelling $3,500 for this first generation device that feels like it's too far ahead of its time? I think we're here, like if we're talking about where we are in the state of tech, I think we're a lot closer to being able to accept these as a computing device than we were when the Google lenses came out or whenever, whatever they were called back in the day. I, I just think that the Apple Vision Pros are just, I still feel so far out of reach. It feels so Iron Man, so sci-fi that I don't know if you're gonna get a lot of people who are willing to try this, especially willing to pay for that price tag. So that's that's why I keep on wondering who is this going, who is this actually for? Is it for the entrepreneurs? Is it for business owners? Is it for people who just have money to spend? Is it for serious productivity users? I, I don't know. Another question I have, is it meant to supplement your MacBook or is it meant to replace your MacBook or your computer in general? Obviously we saw that you can use it with your MacBook and see your screen and, and all that jazz. And that's really cool. But could you get away with using this on its own without a MacBook and just have that as a computing device? As of, as of right now, it doesn't seem like you can edit like solely on that, like you need to have Final Cut or whatever editing software built into your MacBook and then you can see the screen and all that jazz. But will it get to that point? Is it is that a future iteration of this? I don't know, especially with that price point. I have a 13 inch MacBook Pro with a, a terabyte of storage and 16 gigabytes of unified memory. This MacBook was still less than half than what this Vision Pro will cost anyone it's just with that price point i just don't know if anybody's gonna buy that as their computing device and their sole computing device i don't know if there's gonna be pe enough people who are gonna buy that as a supplemental device to your thousand dollar macbook already and you know like if you're getting a macbook air for a thousand dollars are you gonna spend 3.5 times more to get the vision pro as a supplemental device <sighs> I don't know, I don't think so. I mean, if you got money to spend, by all means, you wanna try it out. Damn, I, I don't got that kind of money. Must be nice though. And I, another question I have is just, are we ready for computing at this speed? Obviously someone's gonna make the leap and Apple obviously is taking this leap and it's breaking the internet and people are like either really excited about it and other people are like, what the hell is this? I'm kind of with them. Like, like it's cool. Like, don't get me wrong. It is really dope to see the things that you're going to be able to do. Like as a basketball fan, seeing like the, being able to watch a replay and like from wherever they're shooting it and just see it in front of me, like a 3D model, really cool. But this augmented reality situation is, the concept is really cool. The price is just, it feels like it's not an entry point device and doesn't feel like it's going to attract a lot of new users. You know, if the goal is for this to be the future, I feel like the price should be a little bit 
more affordable. If is that their goal? Is this is this their end game? Is Apple's end game the Vision Pro, or is this just another supplemental device that not everybody needs, but some people will enjoy? I don't know. I'm I'm very confused by it. I'm also very excited by it because of what it can bring to the future of computing. It'll be interesting to see what other companies put out to try to compete with this too. Because you know, when one company does one, there's other companies that will try to replicate. Apple does it to other companies, other companies do it to Apple. It's been the, it's been the thing for years and it will continue to be the thing. So who's gonna do it next? A lot to think about, lots of questions I have for them, but those are my at least three questions for this reality pro. So let me know, are you confused by this? Are you excited by this? And do you think that Apple really wants this to be the future of computing as a whole? Or is this just something that they you think they're trying to be a supplemental, like an iPad, be a supplemental device? Let me know in the comments below. Let's continue this conversation. And as time goes on, we'll learn more about the people who've gotten the chance to use it. And when it comes out and like later this year, we'll see more and more I will not be one of those people who tries it out with my own money. If somebody wants to send me one, Apple, I'm not opposed. Anyway, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you like talking about tech, if you've ever been confused by tech, we're here to help you out. And if you want to see, I just did a video of my top 10 features and updates that were announced at WWDC. You can watch that right here, or you can watch any of the other videos right here. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.